to the air, land, and sea yeah, today. It, it is a closer look at how humans are pushing the limits in fantastic frontiers. And guess who is here who's <laughs> testing it all out? Jenna Bush Hager, of course. Oh, good, morning. good morning, guys. So we're going to start in the air space. Since, since 1958, NASA has been reaching for the moon and beyond. And I got to experience a small part of what it's like to train to be an astronaut. Still looking very good. Here go. It's one small step for man. The eagle has landed. One giant leap for mankind. From the International Space Station to the deepest parts of our solar system, it's NASA's mission to reach new heights in space exploration. Have you found that people are still so excited and fascinated with, with space? Absolutely, and I think in particular humans in space, right? It's the, it's the quest to explore and to discover. This year, NASA had over 18,000 applicants apply to be astronauts, a record number. In June, 12 candidates were announced as the class of 2017. They will train to be the next generation of space explorers. Currently, there are 44 active astronauts at NASA, and I spent time with one of them, Tracy Caldwell Dyson. What's the training like? I mean, one day you could be putting on a spacesuit or learning how to do a spacewalk, and then you put on a flight suit and you go fly in a T-38. That's so cool, so it never gets boring. No, uh, well, except when you're sitting in a long meeting. I can get boring. <laughs> For two years, astronaut candidates train at the Johnson Space Center in Houston developing their knowledge and skills required for missions. Part of that training, active response gravity offload system, known as Argos, NASA's anti-gravity technology that simulates what it's like to be in space. So this is Argos. This is Argos. And I got my chance to train on Argos. Argos looks kind of scary. All right, let's do it. OK. We're ready if you are. All right. Are you ready to uh, begin flying through space? Yes. All right. Let's fly through space. Wow. Uh-oh. See, that's why we tether. So what should I do? Well, everything that uh, looks like you can grab it, except these uh, hoses. You want to make sure that you are holding on to something before you let go of something so, else. Oh, no. OK, so I'm going to try to go over here. Try to grab a hold of the handrails. This is really fun. OK, I'm going to fly for a second. Whoa. Argos is responding to your input. Now I'm going all the way down. That's what it's mimicking is that in space, that's uh, how your body would react. And you never got off a structure. No, never. Uh-oh, now I'm over here. This is a, a connector. Not as easy as it looks. Good pins, no FOD. Good pins, no FOD. Good EMI band. Good EMI band. All right, you've got to go to connect. OK, go to connect. There you go. Not there. Oh, where do I get that <laughs> So fun, fun, feels really fun. At least she's tethered. <laughs> I don't think you can really move. Uh-oh, and then I came down so fast. Well, well. <laughs> so did I pass training? She's doing really good. Make me a little nervous with all the flying and coming off structure, but we can train that right out of her, so. We're a go for lunch. Oh, so fun. <laughs> Next up, the mock-up space station. This is the real equipment. This is the real equipment, and it uh, um, takes uh, help to get it on your Okay, head. should it's I try like, this on? All right, let's see if we can do okay. this. Okay. Okay. Who knows? Oh my gosh. How's that feel? Kind of cool. This is what it feels like to be an astronaut. It is. Sounds good. Now I'm ready to go. Is there anything surprising that people wouldn't know about the life of an astronaut? Well, we don't all look like Sandra Bullock coming out of a spacesuit <laughs> at all. And the best part of the job, the view from space. I was crying. I just was so in awe of looking at our beautiful planet and the stars and seeing that. And I, was, I remember thinking, nobody told me I'd see this. The next giant leap for NASA, to send astronauts deeper into the solar system. Do you feel like possibly one of these astronauts of the newest class will, will go to Mars? I think that all of those 12 all hope that it would be them. And certainly all of NASA as well. Would, that's where we want to go. 
So it was wow. really cool. The one thing she said, which I didn't understand until I actually tried that Argos, yeah. is that astronauts use their hands like we use our feet. You know, you have to oh, hold on, on to things. everything. She also said using the restroom. It's very, very <laughs> yeah. interesting. I was that. Yeah. That they detail. didn't practice that with me. So you got to hold on because George Clooney's not going to chase after you in real life. Exactly. But they're wow. all so fascinating. And the, the current class is super diverse. Um, there's people from all over. And I think that's really I her reaction when she said she saw space and wet. Yeah. Like, you don't hear that she also every day. said yeah. that she dreamed of this as a little girl, but the likelihood of becoming an astronaut is so slim, as sure. you yeah. saw, yeah. that the, to live it is really a dream. One of the guys in the new classes went to my high school. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Dr. Johnny Kim, yeah, in awesome. Santa Monica, California. Wow. Went to Samoa, and now he's in that new class. Oh, I wow. love that. Yeah, cool. Shout out, Johnny. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, so we're doing air, land, and sea. Mm -hmm. That's right. Tomorrow it's my turn. We're going to take you deep underground for an exclusive tour of an abandoned concert hall that only a handful of people people have ever wow, seen. Cool. Cool. Wow. Okay, looking forward to that. Hello today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.